It begins in silence. Deep inside the male body, hidden within a pair of small oval organs, a slow and patient creation unfolds. A process so intricate that it takes 74 days for a single sperm cell to be born. Most people imagine sperm as something fast, fast swimming, fast reacting, fast released. But before any sperm reaches speed, its origin is the opposite. Quiet, fragile, microscopic. Inside the testicles, millions of tiny cells begin a transformation that almost defies imagination. They divide, reshape, grow tails, compress DNA, and survive one of the most selective quality control systems in all biology. Each sperm begins as a simple stem cell, a round, unremarkable dot of life. Yet within weeks, it will become one of the most specialised cells ever created. A streamlined, energy-packed, precision-engineered swimmer designed for a single mission, fertilisation. No machine humans have built is as efficient. No factory assembles more units per day. No system undergoes more constant renewal. And yet, we rarely think about the journey that must happen long before ejaculation, arousal or intimacy. A journey filled with hidden chambers, twisting tubules, protective guardian cells and a marathon of microscopic trials. This is the story of how sperm is made the full 74-day creation process that builds the seeds of life from almost nothing. A story of biology's patience, precision and quiet engineering. Let's go inside. To understand how sperm is formed, we must enter one of the most complex structures in the male body, the seminiferous tubules, tightly coiled tubes inside the testicles. If stretched end-to-end, -end, the tubules inside a single testicle could reach more than 250 metres long. These tubes are the birthplace of every sperm cell. Inside them, two major cell types work together. One, spermatogonial stem cells. These are the starting seeds. They divide repeatedly to create the first generation of immature sperm. Two, Sertoli cells long, branching cells that act like scaffolding. They support, feed, protect and regulate every developing sperm cell for weeks on end. Around the tubules sit Leydig cells, which produce testosterone, the hormone that drives not only fertility, but also muscle growth, libido and male physiology. When the body is healthy, these three cell groups synchronise their roles. Testosterone rises and falls in pulses. Sertoli cells activate. Stem cells begin dividing. Inside the tubules, the environment is carefully controlled. Warm, but not too warm. Nutrient-rich, protected from the immune system. This is crucial. If the immune system ever enters the tubules, it will attack sperm cells as foreign invaders because sperm carry only half the DNA. This is why the testes maintain a blood testis barrier, one of the strongest protective barriers in the body. Spermatogenesis, the process of sperm formation, depends on this perfect environment. And over the next 74 days, the cells inside the tubules will undergo one of the most dramatic transformations in human biology. But this is only the beginning. Phase 1. The beginning. Mitosis. Days 1 to 16. Everything starts with spermatogonial stem cells. They divide through mitosis, creating copies of themselves to maintain the population and producing new cells that enter the next phase. At this point, they are still simple, round cells. They cannot swim, they have no tail, they are not even considered sperm yet, but they have begun the journey. Phase 2. Genetic halving. 
Meiosis, days 17 to 34. Now the most important event happens, meiosis, the cell division that halves DNA. Each cell undergoes two rounds of division, reducing its genetic material from 46 chromosomes to 23. This ensures that when sperm meets egg, the embryo will have the correct number again. Meiosis is extremely delicate and one of the most common points where errors occur. If DNA is exposed to heat, toxins, smoking, alcohol or stress during this time, the damage can last the rest of the process. But the cells keep going. Phase 3. Transformation. Spermiogenesis, days 35 to 74. Now begins the magical transformation. The round cells start reshaping into the aerodynamic structure we recognize as sperm. The head forms, containing the nucleus compressed into a tight spear shape. The acrosome develops a cap filled with enzymes used to break into the egg. The midpiece forms filled with mitochondria, tiny engines that will power swimming. The tail grows a long whip-like flagellum for movement. During week after week of development, Sertoli cells hold each sperm in place, feeding them, sculpting them and guiding them toward maturity. But even after 74 days, they are still not ready to swim. Their tails exist, but they barely move. They are immature, fragile, incomplete. To finish the journey, they must leave the place where they were made and enter the next chamber, the epididymis. And this is where the real transformation begins. The moment sperm cells enter the epididymis, a new phase begins a transformation more dramatic than any before. The epididymis is a long, coiled tube, over six metres in total length, folded tightly along the back of each testicle. Here, sperm spend at least 14 days learning the skills they could not develop inside the tubules. Inside its chambers, three breakthroughs occur. One, they gain motility. For the first time, they begin moving their tails. They learn to swim. They develop the ability to move forward in a straight, forceful line. Two, they gain fertilization power. Chemical changes on the sperm membrane prepare them to survive cervical mucus, navigate the female reproductive tract, and recognize the egg. Three, they gain resilience. Sperm becomes stronger, more stable, and more resistant to temperature, pH, and stress. By the time they reach the tail of the epididymis, they are fully mature, fully motile, and ready. But even now, they wait. Sperm can stay stored in the epididymis for weeks, maintained at perfect conditions, until ejaculation finally releases them. And when that moment arrives, when the body initiates the reflex, these sperm join seminal fluid, gain rapid acceleration, and begin the journey outward. From a tiny stem cell to a specialized swimmer built for a single purpose, each sperm has completed a nearly three-month transformation. 74 days of division, reshaping, training, maturing, and waiting. A journey that ends in seconds, but begins in the quietest chambers of the body. The creation of sperm is not fast, it is not simple, it is not automatic. It is a long, meticulous journey, one that takes nearly three months from the first division to the final mature swimmer. Every sperm represents time, patience, and microscopic craftsmanship. The seminiferous tubules divide and shape cells day after day. Sertoli cells guide them with precision. Leydig cells pulse with testosterone to support every stage. The epididymis trains them, toughens them, awakens their ability to swim. And through it all, the body protects them from heat, 
toxins and immune attack, because sperm are uniquely vulnerable. Most of the cells that begin the journey never finish it. Only a small fraction becomes strong enough to reach maturity. But nature does not need many. Even a single sperm, if healthy, can carry the potential for new life. Understanding the 74-day process reminds us of something deeper, that reproduction is not merely an instant, but a continuous cycle of renewal. Today's health choices become tomorrow's sperm. Today's stress, sleep, nutrition and environment shape the next generation inside the microscopic factories within. And perhaps the most powerful truth is this. Behind every moment of release, behind every drop of semen, is a quiet story of three months of biological creation. A process that begins in silence and ends with possibility.